passion and fun. Now, here's Natalie Hendricks with The Southern Scene. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Southern Scene. I'm WSAV's Natalie Hendricks. Okay, you know what it's all about. We're back on the red carpet. It's all about celebrating South Magazine, celebrating their 50th issue, of course, and we are so glad that The Southern Scene is bringing it to you right here on the red carpet. And you know, I have to call your attention to my absolutely gorgeous jewelry I'm wearing tonight, thanks to Liquid Sands Gallery. Of course, it's located right there on Wright Square. You need to make sure that you get to Liquid Sands Gallery. Take a look at my beautiful necklace, my bracelet, my earrings. It's all part of the Patricia Locke collection. And you know, you cannot deny her collection. It's all about femininity and self-expression and really bringing all of those hues and colors together. You cannot deny it. And I love the way she brings, you know what, that fine artwork and mixing it in with trendy fashion. And you can find it at Liquid Sands Gallery on Wright Square. And of course, we're just glad to be here. You're going to be talking about food and of course the fabulous drinks and the silent auction and all the wonderful businesses that are here tonight. And of course, a fabulous cause that's benefiting from tonight's event, the B Cause. We'll be finding out more about that as well. And guess what? We're going to be here till the end. So you want to keep it tuned right here. We're on the red carpet. Let's go inside. You know, we couldn't have tonight's event without catching up with Michael Brooks, the one and only. And he's the reason why we're here tonight. Michael, it's always great to see you. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it, man. Look at this turnout tonight in the 50th issue of South Magazine. That just has to be surreal for you. Man, it really is. The support that we've gotten is unbelievable. It's been eight and a half years now, and uh, I'm just humbled by the support that we continue to receive. You want to make sure you pick up the 50th issue. What are some of the things that they're going to see in the 50th issue? You know, the coolest thing that we have in there is the 50 greatest moments over the last eight and a half years. And that's a reason enough to pick it up. Plus, we got beautiful women in there. and um, I love it. Our very own Tina Tyus. Absolutely, man. So <laughs> fabulous females in their 50s to celebrate our 50th issue. So the there's a lot of cool stuff. The 50 best dishes as well. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's something for everybody. You know, Michael, you, you throw such incredible parties here. And the one thing that I love about South Magazine is the fact that it's always about giving back. You produce a phenomenal magazine, but it's always about giving back. Why is that so important to you? You know what? We love... Uh, Savannah in this region and when we came here we kind of adopted that as our hometown and we said you know what the coolest thing we can do is get our readership to come and visit and uh, just experience Savannah in this region man and it's not all about just giving back at the events because this guy not only you know talks the talk he walks the walk you were involved with an event not long ago lost your hair and now it's all growing back and uh, and I was so impressed with that thank you so much and you know my wife jumped in too so uh, she got her head shaved too and so it was a good event, man. We raised $10,000 for a good cause and got a free haircut out of it, too. And that's what it's all about. One last question. What is the future? What does the future hold for South Magazine? What can we expect here in this area? Man, we hope to continue growing up and down the coast. We'd like to get up to Charleston, down to Jacksonville. This is going to be our home base for forever. So we just hope to continue to draw thousands of people to this region. And you're going to promise us these wonderful events, red carpet events, and of course we'll be here on the Southern Scene with every South time. Magazine. Absolutely, every time. Thanks for having us. Thank it's always so great to see you. All right, thank you. Of course, this is the place to be tonight. Of course, this is the big event. Everybody's here for the South Magazine 50th issue party. And there's a big cause that's benefiting from tonight's big gala event. And of course, tonight I have Tammy Enright with me here. Now you are with the B Cause. Yes, I am. I'm the executive director for the B Cause Project. Let's talk about the B Cause for some of our viewers who may not be familiar with it. Uh, the B Cause, we have um, a mission to install a thousand observation hives in local schools and the idea is to help children learn more about honeybees and embrace them and try to protect them and become uh, just more aware of the importance of what their connection is to the environment. Tammy, what does it mean to you to have an event like this to be the beneficiary of this particular event with South Magazine? 
Wow, it's super special. I mean, this started just kind of as a backyard project with Ted from Savannah Bee and myself just trying to put a couple of hives in our kids, in our own kids' schools. And now, I mean, we've actually grown it to be this thousand school initiative and um, goal. And I mean, everyone's talking about it. There's a huge buzz in Savannah and all of the local uh, areas. For some folks who may want to find out more about the Bee Cause, how can they find out more about it? Well, we have a website. It's called the thebeecause.org. And we also have a Facebook page, The Bee Cause. And um, we have, I mean, we have tons of folks in schools around talking about it. And you can Google us. We're getting lots of press right now. And people are super excited. So I think it would be hard to miss it right now. So. Well, we want to say thank you for all that you do. And thank you for being here. And we're so glad that you're the beneficiary oh tonight at South Magazine's event. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and to the kids and the schools. And so we really appreciate it. Okay, go have a great time. Of course, you heard me talking about my beautiful Patricia Locke collection jewelry that you can find at Liquid Sands Gallery located on Wright Square. And guess who I caught up with on the red carpet? I had to stop them because they have adorned me <laughs> with this beautiful jewelry that I absolutely love. John Miller, of course, and his beautiful wife, Kim. It's always great to see you guys. It's great wonderful to see you. You look great. You so, look I'll, I'll, well, thank you so much for letting me, uh, you know, just wear this beautiful jewelry from Patricia Locke collection. I absolutely love it. Let's talk about Liquid Sands Gallery. It's located, of course, on Wright Square. What can some of our viewers find inside? We've talked about the jewelry, but that's not what it's all about. We've got every, we look for best American-made glass from small studios from all across the United States and Canada. We have everything from jewelry to uh, vases, wall pieces, platters. If it's glass, we've probably got it in some form. With the Patricia Locke collection, now she, I was reading, she only produces uh, a series of five, uh, five series collection per year, right? And what makes Patricia Locke jewelry so special? The way they make their settings, they set all their own stones, everything's very unique to her, but the wearability is just fantastic. It's completely American made, which is wonderful as well, but it's just so unique and comfortable. It's a great line. And uh, you can't deny the beautiful, you know, symmetry and the colors in the, in, in the, in the jewelry as well. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it is. It's, it's fantastic, high quality, and it's American made. John, let me ask you this, you know, for some of our viewers who may not be familiar with, maybe they've never visited Liquid Sands, what would you say to them to get them to come on down to Wright Square and walk in your doors? Hey, we've got the best glass around. You will be amazed. I will tell you, you will be amazed and you will be the talk of the evening if you are able to wear this type of jewelry because it's absolutely gorgeous. And I can tell you, I for one will be going shopping. Thanks so much for providing me with my jewelry tonight. Happy to do it. You look fabulous. Well, thank you very much. Thanks to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAV and MyLC. We're still here at the big event. So much going on here at the South Magazine Party, of course, celebrating the 50th issue. Savannah Bee Company is here, of course, and I've just walked up to this. Take a look at this. Now, what am I looking at here? Well, we've got our honeycomb and orange blossom honey spread. We just launched a new orange blossom body care line, so we're highlighting the orange blossom honey, which is amazing from Florida, of course. And then we have a raw honeycomb that's from central Georgia. It's from the Okie Pinocchio swamp area. It's really good for you. It's rich in fatty acids, lipids. Honey is just amazing for your health. So we've got crackers and cheese and fruits and nuts, all of which go fantastically with honey. There's amazing stuff that goes with honey that you'd never think of. So I recommend grabbing a cracker, a little bit of cheese, and dipping right on into And dipping cream. right into here. And I just dip right into here. Let's try it out right now. Of course, Savannah Peak Company, it doesn't get any better than that. Mm. Absolutely amazing. I love that. Thanks so much. 
As I said, so many things going on here tonight. The honey is phenomenal with Savannah Bee Company. Businesses are here, the fashion shows going on, the silent auction, the food, the drink, and of course, loads and loads of people celebrating the 50th issue of South Magazine. Tonight we've been talking about the bee cause, and guess who I've caught up with on the red carpet? Ted Dennard with Savannah Bee Company. It's always great to see you, Ted. Well, it's great to be here, and I'm, you know, proud of the bee cause and what it's doing, and um, super thrilled that that uh, you guys are able to, you know, sponsor it. Well, you know, let's talk about Savannah Bee Company because, you know, here in our area, but everywhere, we've watched Savannah Bee Company really grow over the years, and you guys are doing amazing things. Well, I hope you think that. Um, so one of my jobs is to make my mom proud and the other is Savannah. So uh, <laughs> we want you to think we're doing amazing things. But we really have grown tremendously. I've got the most stellar team. I mean, really, I, I, the best people. And they're really just... It's working. Well, you know, you cannot deny the benefits of what we're seeing with honey across the board. I mean, so many people think honey is just something to, you know, to just put in food or whatever and everything, but it's so much more than that. It is. Well, it's sort of timeless and ancient, you know, from beauty to um, Hippocrates was the father of modern medicine, right? And one third of his recipes contain honey. And um, so, yeah, it's good inside and out. And of course, what can we expect from Savannah Bee Company going forward? Because you guys are always, you know, doing great things in our area. Uh, well, we're doing, we hope to open more stores in more towns. We hope to expand our body care. Uh, that is happening and will continue to happen. And then we're really hoping to do a lot of honey wine me called Mead and um, start branding our own and, and actually making our own venting, I guess, our own mead. Of course, the beneficiary tonight, the Bee Cause, we talked to Tammy earlier about the Bee Cause. Why is it so important to, to be a part of this event and, and for you guys to be the benefit or the Bee Cause to be the beneficiary of this particular event? Well, education is key to solving kind of all of our future problems, I believe. And so this is one way of raising a generation that understands, appreciates, and will protect our noble honeybee. Um, you know, the bees visit two million flowers to make a pound of honey. Oh my and gosh, so that's amazing. They, it's, if they, do, they go to about 500 million flowers, one beehive does in a year. So it's an incredible little factory. And so for the kids to understand that little ecological machine and how it relates to their food chain and you know, all the other you know, parts of the ecosystem, it's just super important. see her on TV, but you're going to see her in the magazine. You know, I'm really excited about it because I turned 50 on March 27th. She yes. doesn't look 50, believe me. <laughs> well, I'm fabulous and 50, and I'm loving every minute of it. And I've got to tell you, you know, I think that this issue says a lot to the meaning of women and maturity, and really, it says... It, 50 is not the end, it's really the beginning. That's right, and what? What do they say, 50 is the new 40? Well, I've got to tell you, I say 50 is the new 25. Oh, I love it, I love it. That's what I'm talking about right there, 50 being the new 25, and definitely South Magazine knows how to make you feel that way. Oh, absolutely. We had an incredible time at the shoot, Natalie. Uh, Paula Fogarty, Michael Brooks, his wife, they're all fantastic people, and we just had a blast. You know, Tina, let me ask you this. What does it mean to you to be a part of this event and to have been asked to be in the magazine, such a wonderful magazine, and you're going to be speaking tonight. What does that mean to you? It means a lot to me because I've reached a milestone in my life. And for people to care so much about me, this community to care so much about me, and for me to be able to be out there and support women in our community, but not only women, but the entire community, Natalie. So just being able to evolve, being able to turn 50, uh, I must say that I'm grateful to God for this opportunity. And again, very appreciative to Michael Brooks and South Magazine. 
phenomenal event. And what does that mean to you to be here at such a milestone event for South Magazine? Well, when I first moved to Savannah, of course, I did read the South Magazine, and it's a beautiful magazine, of course, and the articles are great. Um, but tonight, I'm actually here to help represent uh, Tina Ty Shaw. I know she's in the magazine this time, and we are very proud of her. She turned 50, which is hard to believe. I mean, Tina's beautiful inside and out, and I'm so proud to be her friend and to work with her. caught up with our general manager at WSAV and we're all adorned in our liquid sand jewelry tonight right. that we absolutely love and yours is phenomenal. Thank you. It was a birthday present. A birthday present. Yes. And of course, I get to wear my earrings and necklace and my bracelet thanks to Liquid Sand. They're located right on Wright Square. You need to go by there. Let me ask you this. Uh, what does it mean to WSAV to be a part of this particular event? I mean, celebrating the 50th issue. It's such a milestone. It really is. And partnering with South Magazine on this event. Absolutely. Michael Brooks and their team provide us with some fabulous content. And it's a perfect way to showcase you and all your talent um, and the southern scene. So we're very excited to be part of this. Don't go away. We'll be back with more of the southern scene right after this. Stay with us. on WSAV and my LC. So many wonderful things going on here tonight at the South Magazine Big Celebration, celebrating the 50th issue. And of course, you've heard us talking about everything tonight, the fashion show, the silent auction, Savannah Bee Company, all the wonderful things that are going on here. But we could not leave without catching up with one of our favorite people. Of course, Chef Roberto of Leoti Stratoria. It's good to see you, Roberto. How are you doing? Now, what are you doing here tonight? Uh, I'm the food sponsor, and uh, me and Michael go back a long time, and I love his magazine, I love what he does, and of course, I love, I love supporting the community, and um, this comes natural to me to f feed people and have good food, and um, Work, work my butt off. <laughs> now you've been in the issue many times for South Magazine and what a fabulous product they put out. It's awesome. Uh, I'm from Montreal originally and it makes me feel like I'm back in the city. Very, uh, very awesome magazine. Well done. And uh, I'm so excited that we have much more to come. Of course, here on the Southern Scene, we're always talking about Leochi Stratoria, of course, but so many things going on for you lately. Yep, um, we won uh, Flavor of Georgia, so that bursted us to national attention, and we're at Whole Foods, and we're at about 62 uh, Kroger's, uh, goes to South Carolina, to Alabama, to all Georgia, and um, there's other, other stores, we'll be in Florida soon, so it's very exciting. Of course, we have the Hunter Cattle folks here with us tonight, and, and I see your gift items here tonight. I absolutely love it. It's awesome. Uh, Savannah's growing so quickly, and I'm proud to be part of it. Now, you have a new venture going on here in Savannah area. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, I partnered with Kipton Hotel and uh, have a beautiful restaurant called Pachi. Uh, it's a lighter fare restaurant. But uh, it all works out together. If you want a neighborhood restaurant, you go to Leochi's. And if you want a little bit of that city flair, you go to Pachi. And you know, all the wonderful food here tonight, you cannot deny it. Of course, Chef Roberto's been working hard and you've tasted everything, so it's fabulous, right? You it gotta is. do your famous mwah. Mwah, bellissimo. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Only here at the big event for South Magazine. Oh gosh, guess who I caught up with, or he caught up with me, none other than, you know him, as Forrest Gump here in Savannah. We spot him all the time. Hi, Forrest. Uh, hello, how are you doing tonight? It's so good to see you here at the yeah. South Magazine event celebrating the 50th issue. <laughs> and he's just so, ex he's just, uh, so exciting. You saw Lieutenant Dan. Yes, ma'am. I just ran here from Alabama. It all the long. way, all the way from Alabama. It was a long run. I got to run to California tomorrow. I got a ping pong tournament to go to. <laughs> <laughs> a ping pong tournament. I'm still undefeated. What are you most excited about tonight's event, Forrest? The chocolate. The chocolate. <laughs> I heard they had some good chocolate treats. <laughs> oh, do you want one? Oh, he's going to give me some chocolate right here on this other. Okay. Oh, and it's a kiss. Well, Forrest, if you're giving me a kiss, can I have a kiss? Okay. okay. Uh, I love it. Can I get you want a kiss? 
Oh, wow. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> right here on the Southern Scene. Who can say that they got a kiss from none other than Forrest Gump? I found some people want to know what they're going to get tonight, so I got plain old Hershey kisses. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Well, I'm glad you stopped on the red carpet. I know you've got to go probably and uh, just go have a good time. Where are you off to now? I'm going to go in there, probably see Lieutenant Dan. We're buying a shrimp boat tomorrow. He found it off a list from this guy named Craig. <laughs> I love it. Well, it was nice talking to y'all. Nice talking Have a nice day. Thanks for the kiss. Okay. We want to thank you for joining us. That's going to wrap it up for us. Now, remember, you can see the Southern Scene twice now. That's right, weekdays and weeknights. Weekdays on WSAV at noon, and, of course, weeknights at 7 p.m. on My LC. We've had a wonderful time here tonight at Savannah Station, all in celebration of the big issue, the 50th issue for South Magazine. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, remember, you can find us on Facebook, The Southern Scene, or you can always go to our website, WSAV.com. Just click on our Southern Scene page and keep your eyes open. We're going to keep you covered and be at every single red carpet event here in our area. And also, keep your eyes open because you know, you never know when our Southern Scene cameras will catch you. And you never know when you might be seen on The Southern Scene. See you next time.